wind turbines wouldn't be able to withstand the worst conditions in the world without these integral bearing components, hard turned and finished on a boss machine like the one behind me. You might see a wind turbine every day on your daily commute, but you might not know, they look so peaceful from afar, but you might not know how many stresses and high forces are acting on the components inside of those wind turbines. As a result, they need bearings inside of them to keep them running every single day. That's why we've come to Tissen at the bearing facility to find out exactly how they make them on a Bost machine. Now, Henning, we're here in front of these, these big fat bearings, but yeah. can you, there, there are different types here. Can you explain what types they are and which part of the wind turbine they go in, please? Yes, of course. Um, on the wind turbine, there are uh, five bearings. We have one, one yaw bearing, uh, where you put the uh, turbine in the right wind direction. Then we have another bearing, which is called the main bearing, where the whole star is turning round through. And we have three more bearings on each blade. These are called blade or pitch bearings, to have the blades in the right position. For example, when you have a, a huge uh, storm, you can uh, pitch out the, uh, b the blades, so um, you don't have any um, damage on the turbine then. Absolutely. And talking about storms, it's not like these wind turbines work in kind of just a nice sunny day. They have to survive every piece of weather that happens in the place where they're, where they're put, right? So these are critical components. And exactly what type of bearings are they? We're we talking kind of cross roller, radial bearings. And, and how critical are they to keep the wind turbines running? So we have uh, ball bearings for the yaw and uh, the blade bearings. And we have tapered roller bearings for the main bearing. Yeah, so tapered rollers are those really strong that can handle lots of different directions of force, right? Yes. Absolutely. And you've been, this isn't, I've been making wind turbines for a long time, but we're here at like what I would, I, I, I've been calling it the big bearing facility here. It's called the Production Center 9, right? Yes. Um, but this is a big bearing facility. These are big components. What size components do you make here? And what part of the machining process do these BOSS machines uh, execute? So right here in TV9, we're doing uh, blade bearings and main bearings up to Six meters. Six meters. Um, right now we see here um, these bearings have a diameter of uh, five meters. At Thyssenkrupp Rote Erde, the bearings are made uh, from the block of steel to the final bearing. At first uh, they get forged, uh, then they get uh, rough turned. Heat treatment is very important for bearings, for the race weight, for the, for the um, endurance. And uh, on the boss machines we do the final uh, machining of the bearing. So to make, make sure that those wind turbines, when they get put in these very difficult, harsh environments, yes. that final machining process is probably the most important part of it. And on these BOSS machines, you're finishing parts every single day. But it's not just a normal finishing process. We see behind me the discoloration from the case hardening on the material. What happens? Yes, uh, the um, race of the machines uh, of the bearings get hardened, as I just told. Um, and uh, we do the final machining on the hardened race waste. You use ceramic inserts, and uh, on these machines, um, you can do that very good. Absolutely, you need to hit those that material um, with ceramic bearing, uh, ceramic inserts because there's no other way to cut it because it's so hard. Yes, so the, the raceway is hardened, um, and you have to use harder inserts than the uh, the hardness of the raceway is to have it uh, machined. Yeah. So these wind turbines are handling extreme weather conditions. That means they need extremely precise components, and you couldn't do that without the two boss machines behind me. Okay.